in the NFL at this point. <laughs> hey, that's it for us. That's good, yeah. <laughs> Minnesota Northwestern next here on ESPN2. Beth Mowens, Joey Galloway from beautiful Evanston, Illinois. We're done. He's excited. With Minnesota coach Jerry Kill taking time away from the team, assistant Tracy Clays will take the reins, and today he'll give the ball to quarterback Mitch Leidner to try and end a two-game skid. Northwestern's in a similar funk. After a hot start to the season, the Cats have dropped a couple in a row and will try and get back in the Big Ten race with a highly motivated Trevor Simeon who's ready to grip it and rip it. Welcome to ESPN's College Football, presented by Five Hour Energy. Northwestern and Minnesota with identical records coming off of back-to-back -back losses entering today. Minnesota coach Jerry Kill announcing on October 10th he's taking time away from football to focus on his epilepsy treatment. So defensive coordinator Tracy Clays is the acting head coach. He's usually upstairs today down on the sideline in a different environment for him. And welcome to Northwestern. I'm Beth Mullins, along with 16-year NFL veteran Joey Galloway. Paul Carcaterra also with us this afternoon. And Joey, uh, quite a unique situation here for Minnesota. Tracy Clays, the longtime assistant, will be the acting coach. He does have the most tenured staff in all of college football to help him today. But it's a team that's been preparing without their head coach all week. And this coaching staff said they wanted to keep the routine the same and keep these guys loose. The best way to do that for a player, have the same attention to detail, have the same focus, and most importantly, keep the same energy level as if Coach Kill was there. And that will allow these players to focus on winning football games. Northwestern won the toss and they deferred. So it will be that Minnesota offense out there as they will receive the opening kick. Marcus Jones, who has both a kick return and a punt return for a touchdown this year, is the deep man. And the kick into the end zone. And this will be Antonio Johnson, who will bring it out and gets out across the 20. Well, for more on Minnesota, here's Paul Carcaterra. Minnesota has the most tenured staff in the nation. Therefore, coaching assignments have become routine. However, that's not the case today for acting head coach and defensive coordinator Tracy Clays, who hasn't been on the sidelines since 2002 at Southern Illinois. He'll continue to call the defense, but without the luxury of being in the booth and having his charts laid out, he spent time memorizing his calls so he can react quickly to an up-tempo Northwestern offense and manage the game. He told me right before kickoff, he can't get too excited during the game. His focus has to be on calling plays. And to the air in the first play of the game, Pass incomplete. Max Williams got his hands on it. Nick Van Hoos with the coverage. Well, it's the third career start for Leidner, who can throw it a little bit, but known mostly for his running ability. At 6'4", 233, he is as big or bigger than seven of the Wildcats starting defenders. Absolutely, and I like the start by the Minnesota offense. Throw pass. Everyone in the building, including Northwestern players, expects it. Minnesota to come and try to run the ball. They start with a pass, had an open guy, just missed him on the sideline. On second and ten, and they will keep it on the ground. Uh, about 71% of their plays they keep on the turf, and the ball pops out. And Northwestern able to get it right back. Josh Campion, the offensive tackle, able to jump on it. When you play this Northwestern defense, you better hang on to the football. They lead the Big Ten in creating turnovers in the first series, third play, second play of the game. Ball on the ground already. Minnesota lucky to get it back. Nick Van Hoos is the guy that came up and punched that one loose. 17 takeaways on the season, fifth best in the country, tops in the Big Ten for this Northwestern defense. And uh, the referee, Dan Capron, is over there on the near sideline with the headset on. They're reviewing that uh, last play. And we'll take a timeout here with the official review.